We are now in live video mode. Before you get started with the series of tests that you have to complete, you can actually configure the application using the different uh, menus here. So you can press on identification, where you can input all of the information that you need on your report at the end of the job. A job ID, company, location, direction, connector ID, and all of this type of information can be input here. From this menu, you can actually go on to two different other tabs. One is the auto naming, where you can add some active identifiers such as the FIP model. You can also remove it easily. There's also the increment tab, where you can also use the same process and add the location, for example, or remove it as you see fit. Going back to the main screen, you can also configure the standard for which you're going to test your connectors. So by default, this one is selected, but you can select the one that is suitable for your needs. You can also configure the amount of testing that you want to do with your wireless probe. It is set as of now to auto center, auto focus, auto capture, and auto analysis, but you can deactivate one or two as you see fit. We're just going to leave them in for now. You can also go into the application setting and configure if you want to auto save all of the, your tests and generate report as soon as you perform a test. 